find George. <laughs> a variety of King George V and King George VI varieties, either on cover or used. Here's some examples. A perfin, a hairlines, some salvage printing, a gripper coil, an experimental coil, illegal usage, paste up pair, major re-entry. When someone used it as a postage due, a plate imprint and a very unusual postal marking. Here it is, the CPR perfin um, with the initials of Canadian Pacific Railway. That's protects, that's not that unusual at all, except I thought what I found intriguing was it's, it's a, the, the, the cancellation is St. Faustin Station in Quebec to the, in 1919. And the picture on the front actually is the St. Station de CPR St. Faustin. There you can read it up there. So it's actually the cancellation and the picture on the postcard all match the CPR, uh, the CPR perfin. A second example, hairlines. Hairlines can occur on these plates. And what they are is once the plate, the the, the plate is printed and, and made, the, the plate is actually printed flat. And then they do the proof printing sheets from the plate when it's flat. And then they take the plates and put them onto a round drum. And with time, you can see these hairline cracks that show up in the actual printing plate. Here's two examples on the same old left, right, up, up uh, lower left on the lower right corner. You see these wavy lines and they can be very distinct and they're usually you only see them in the margins. They're hard to find in the actual uh, design, but you can usually see that for the issues that are identified in the catalog as having hairlines, you'll usually see it in the margins of the stamp. This is on an advertising cover. Here's an interesting, obviously philatelic cover with various King George V stamps. Number 151, the three cent scroll is what we call it. Here's the Admiral with the lathe work. The lathe work is part of the printing plate and it's collectible because there's different designs and different, the different varieties on the and the lathe work and the question is why was there a lathe work and there's two hypotheses one is that it would help the quality control inspector to look at the sheet and see if he could see distinct lines in this in this lathe work then he'd know that the, the whole rest of the paint was good the other hypothesis for this printing in the salvage was that it would prevent the during the printing process, the ink there would help the edges of the sheet from being lifted up prematurely during the process. And I, I, I buy that one. I, if I had to bet my druthers on it, I think it would be that would be likely it. Um, here's the one number one six seven, the three cent arch. Here's a three cent postal station, all glued on a three cent postal stationary envelope. And here we have another, the three cent admiral. And I wondered at first, well, why? Why would he put two three cent admirals? This has this little mark in the salvage. It's an R gauge. It's referred to listed in the catalog. It's more like the two parts to an arrow. And it's to help the cutting of the sheet and knowing where to put the perforations down. So that's just a right. guideline. And another variety, uh, the gripper coil. This was from an experimental um, printing method to, to sell the stamp where they had it in coil, in coil in dispensing machines. And you'd go up and put your money in and it would print out a coil, give you, it'd give you a, a coil as long as you asked for based on, the, based on your price. And there were little teeth marks up here in the tops, generally in the, in the margins and salvage areas hard to find i haven't scanned them up close but you can they're just very small nicks some people could consider them actually to be damaged stamps but they are listed as a variety in the catalogs where the the, the machine the dispensing machine would grip the stamp and feed it through mm -hmm. here's another experimental coil it was only in toronto and uh, it had very distinct um big holes 
You can see them here. Um, I'm not sure why there was. There's no explanation for me. This is unusual because the date stamp doesn't have a date in it. And that meant that this was third class mail. There's no rush. They didn't put dates in that. And it was just obviously a one cent rate or uh, a domestic printed printed matter rate. It was, it was not, there was no importance to, to having this delivered. So the date was not applied, added. Here is a King half cent King George V scroll. I'd never seen that stamp. It's got, well, it looks like some perfs up here. It's not listed in any of the catalogs. It's a very, very bizarre looking stamp. Unless you realize, <laughs> here it is on cover with an unusual postage due for two cents because they were cut out from a postal stationary envelope where a half cent rate must have been for a printed matter, address postcard or something like that. Someone cut them out, glued them on to make up the three cent rate. Postal officials said, no, 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 thou shalt not cut out postal stationary stamps and apply them. So you have to pay your postage due, which the postage due amount was always the amount they didn't pay, which was one cent plus a one cent premium penalty, whatever you want to call it. So there was two cents postage due. That was this mark here. And that was then paid by with a proper postage due stamp. But uh, you know, you're not allowed to use uh, postal stationary cutouts on covers. Here's a, an interesting paste up pair. When they printed the coil stamps and they wanted to have them in a longer coil, this is a strip of three. We'll look at carefully here. Right between the first and the second one, you can see it's been pasted up. And that's a spe special variety. Look at it closely. You can see how the right-hand stamp is pasted on top of the left-hand stamp here. So it's a, called a paste-up pair to make longer coils. If you had a coil of 100 and the printing plate was only maybe 40 stamps, uh, you could. This is you'd find you'd find these uh, paste-up pairs. There it is, right there. And we're coming down to oh, here's a major re-entry. Of course, one one of my specialties and one of my Passions is collecting uh, major re-entries, especially on cover. This is an interesting one. It's on the one cent. What you're looking at is a very, it's, this is also listed in the catalog, very dramatic. Doubling in here of the line up here. There's also an interesting cross hatching through the tops of the letters of cent. That's very unusual for a re-entry. Most re-entries are generally fine lines. It must be part of the hatching image from from this stamp that uh, that has somehow gotten on a little bit lower, very unusual as a as a re-entry. Here is the medallion, two cent medallion used us to pay the postage due. Uh, the letter from the U.S. with an American stamp obviously didn't have sufficient postage, and so the term is short paid. And whoever in Canada decided not to use the postage due stamp, just put on a two cent uh, medallion and that was actually tied it's with a mood cancel a very purple the mood uh, mood cancels are, are purple generally and uh, a little unusual for sure with the postage to marking here's another one this is another three cent uh king george v medallion with some interesting salvage printing this salvage printing isn't described and discussed in any of the catalogs um, but it ought to support the hypothesis that the salvage printing is there to help the edge of the print, the printed uh, sheet to stay down once the press is, once it's removed and the press is removed. So it keeps the edges tight. This is uh, paying a 13 cent uh, registered letter rate. Here is the Mufti, we call him, uh, which is really the King George the sixth in, in non-military dress. Actually, in just a shirt and jack and a tie with the plate one imprint from a uh, interesting cancellation to of the Canadian Canada Mitchell Field Post Office A in Niagara Camp, uh, nineteen thirty eight. Here's an interesting uh, pair of muftis with an emergency cancellation, and that hammer 
or that label or that stamp, sorry, that that uh, was used when there was something wrong in the post office, the fire, maybe the post office had a fire or something for whatever, whatever reason, they couldn't use their normal hammers. And so they had this emergency hammer cancel and uh, it is tied right here. You can see a little bit of the purple that's gotten under here. It almost looks like it's not tied, but it is right there. That little inside that perforation and bit of purple ink uh, going to New York. And this is just seven different admirals and number 96. Any questions?